Hello everyone. I'm back with the video I promised with all the vintage collection that I have and a lot of the jewelry that I've made. This is only a portion of it. I have probably over 200 vintage purses that range anywhere from 1920, maybe a little earlier, on up to past 1950, 1960. So I figured I'd show you some of the compacts, some of the jewelry that I've made. Some of the jewelry I've collected from my grandmother, like this crystal and black necklace. The watch is a watch that I got with no band. I made the band and then I made this bracelet right here to match it. This ring is a really old ring that I've recently collected. It's adjustable. I haven't gotten a lot of information on it yet, but I'm working on that. This is a little, it looks like a purse, but it's a compact. Another one that closes up, has all different kind of compartments in it. This one here is a Dorset from the 1950s. It's a compact. There's different ages in there. I don't remember all the ages on all of them. These bracelets right here, I made each one of these. They're pearls and sterling silver with vintage clasps. This purse here was from 1920s, around 1920s. This ring is some kind of shell. I haven't um, found it anywhere, it's really old. And then this necklace right here with the huge pearls on it, I made that, this really big one and the freshwater pearl bracelet with the vintage clasp on the necklace. As usual, there's a lot to look at. I've collected these two rings here in this box. The one on the left here is over 100 years old. This one for, is from 1940. There's a buckle bracelet that's old also. One of my favorite things on the whole table is this Lucite purse. It's called Pearl Lucite, and it's also from 1950s. There's also a black Lucite purse that I really love, which is this one back here. It has stars on it with rhinestones in each one of the stars. This necklace here in the back, the long gold one, I added the crystal to that. And then there's my buckle ring on top there and a matching bracelet. The shoe here is a Fenton. And the kettle is from England, and the creamer, and also the teacup and saucer. This one in the back here that looks like a, bo a box is actually a Bella Borsa from Italy. That's also one of my favorite. Everybody asked me about that when I was lucky enough to find two of them. Just at an antique store up in Oregon. This here is Swarovski, Swarovski crystals. I always have a hard time saying that. I made this one and I made two bracelets in different lengths on the top there and matching earrings. I don't think you're seeing the color that great, but it's actually a real pale yellow color. And this one here, I made, it's got onyx and I believe jade. I think the orange is jade. And then down here, I 
I made this necklace here that's jade and the matching bracelet, the matching earrings, and then spinel jade is the ones on the right, those two I made also. I have a collection of perfume atomizers. There's only about three out here, but I do have a lot, a lot of them. There's two there, and there's one kind of hiding right here. This purse here is tapestry, and it was made, or it was actually from about 1920. The necklace that's hanging on it, I made from a earring that I only had one of. So I made a pendant out of it and made it into a necklace. And then the purse here, this square one, is a, I'm trying to remember the name on all of these. This black square one is made out of felt. It's from Bobby Jerome. It was made in the late 50s, early 60s. The necklace on top of it is carnelian and sterling silver. The pendant was originally made as a fundraiser for an animal shelter. And then I made the two carnelian bracelets in different lengths that are with it. The bracelet here is actually a green color. It's from a bracelet that was broken, and so I just restrung it and added a clasp to it so it wasn't stretch anymore. I'm not crazy about the stretch bracelets. The hand beaded purse is from the early 1920s. And then this little purse right here. This one with the handle. That one's from a Rich Air by Wolberg Hilde from the 1940s. It's ivory white beaded. All hand beaded. The necklace that's on it was also a single earring that I had that I made into a necklace. It's cloisonne. And then this rose necklace is really old, but I forgot what it was made out of. Um, celluloid, maybe? I'm not sure. This necklace here is shell in the back, in the back of it. But the owl used to be a bookmarker, <laughs> and it broke. So I attached it to there, and I made a necklace. I don't like wasting anything. If I can make something out of it, I will. Another Lucite purse, one of my favorites. And another hand beaded little purse, vintage purse. I recently got this bracelet here. It has citrine in it. And I found it for $5 at an antique store because they didn't really realize what they had. It's actually gold. The old gloves are from like the 1940s, I believe. This ring right here is a deep red color. I know that it's really old, but I'm having trouble finding information on it or the materials that it's even made out of. It's really unique. I've never found another one like that. So moving over this way, we have another purse. I don't know what the date of it is. It's kind of a pearl shell. The little short handle. And then I also have these watches. I got a bunch of watches that were only the watch part. 
I put batteries in them and I made all the bracelets for all of these. They're stretched so they'll fit pretty much a lot of different people. I have quite a few that I've done, but this is three of them. And this over here, I made for my granddaughter when she gets a little bit older. Violet Rose. Beautiful little ladybugs. And this one, I made that one also. A lot of people have asked me, how do I store all my vintage purses? Because they get like dust on them and dirt and everything from just being around. Well, I came up with an idea that if I buy this mesh and I cut out mesh for each one and tie a bow around them, I can actually hang them up on my wall and I can still see them and they're protected from all the dust. So each one of my vintage purses I've covered in things like this. It's a lot of work, but it really has saved my purses and I can still see them. I've also been asked that if I ever use them, I do occasionally use a purse here and there, but I don't too often because I don't want to ruin them. I have so many that are my favorite. There's a black onyx necklace right here on the Bella Borsa purse that's really neat. It's lol, and it has what looks like a flower you can position it down in the middle or off to the side. It's really heavy. Everybody likes this necklace with the crystal I added to it. So this is a big part of my collection. I do have a lot more that I've made. I just keep myself busy with coming up with ideas, sometimes in the middle of the night, and I just have to do them. If I was asked what's my favorite, favorite thing on the table out of everything, I would have to say this, this black and crystal necklace that was my grandmother's. I've had this necklace since I was 11, so we're talking a lot, a lot of years. I'm not telling you how many, but it's over 40. It is just gorgeous. I never wear this one, I just save it. It needs restrung, and eventually I will. I just am trying to just keep it nice and keep it in original condition if I can for as long as I can. This ring here is fascinating. It looks like it's made out of brass and it's adjustable. It almost looks like it's uh, some kind of soldier on it. If I could get my phone to focus which it's not doing. I found it for $10. And it's really, really old. So there's lots of little goodies on the table. Some little ruby screw back earrings. The little vanity set. I also collect the old hankies, some of these. I have quite a few. It's 
so I hope you guys liked it. Sorry you had to wait so long for me to make the video. I've been so busy making the videos at the ocean and got really into it that I kind of put this off because it was so much work to do it. I will make some more at a later date because I do have a lot more vintage purses in compacts and like I said, jewelry that I made. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, subscribe, and comment. I like to hear you guys' comments. I'll answer. Thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time.